Eiffel. London, 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 London. This is Coogan Cassius for iFilm London. We're at the premiere of Acceptance here um, at Cineworld. Uh, with me I've got one of the stars of the film and one of the stars of British, uh, well, whatever, you know, you name it, plays the lot. Leslie Grantham, how are you, sir? Very well, thank you, Gov. You're looking very well, Leslie. Well, you can tell the truth when I've gone. <laughs> Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your character in this film, please? Yeah, I play a, a sort of a rough and ready gangland boss in uh, South London who's um, a friend of the main character, Eric, um, who um, comes back and Eric comes back and sees him for help and realises that I'm not Mr Nice Guy. Can you tell us about how you become involved in this film, uh, Richard John Taylor's film, Acceptance? Yeah, he sort of phoned up and said, was I able to send me the script? I, I liked it. Um, there were, I think it's changed a bit from the original concept. Um, yeah, I just enjoy working with Richard. It's uh, been a fun experience and I'm uh, looking forward to uh, getting out in the rain and uh, <laughs> doing something else for him. Can you tell us a little bit about what else you've been up to, obviously, uh, Leslie? Uh, I've been doing a lot of theatre. I've just finished a tour of a play called Soap Opera, which is a murder mystery farce set in a TV soap opera. Uh, before that, I was doing um, uh, pantomime theatre. I did about non-stop theatre, so I've been all right. And I'm just working on some project at the moment, which is a, a pilot. Hopefully, they can raise some money for an, a series about an open prison. Do you think there's any possibility of then what's being revived in EastEnders? I doubt it. If they do, they'll have to get a different actor. Could they possibly bring back then what's twin brother? Possibly, but I don't think they will. They couldn't afford him. <laughs> Too expensive. <laughs> Too expensive. Um, and he doesn't do amateur productions. <laughs> um, obviously, I noticed you were doing a, a lot of plays yourself. Um, are you still doing that? Just finished one. Um, just about, I think the producer of this has got another film for me to do, so I'll start that pretty soon. Uh, yeah, it's all been very good. I'm doing very well and I'm having a, a good time. And here I am in uh, Sydney World in Canary Wharf. Um, had a drink, talking to you, and about to watch the movie. Can you just um, tell us how difficult you think it is for people like Richard John Taylor to get these projects off you know, and get it going and to be taken seriously? Uh, the problem is that, that you know it's such a small world now and if you, if you look at the same old faces turning up everywhere and it's not just the same actors, it's the same producers, directors. I think Richard's a hugely talented guy. He's obviously um, decided that that's what, this is what he wants to do. He's, he's struggled against all odds to do it, and let's hope tonight the uh, icing is on the cake for him and that uh, people wake up and see that he is a major talent. What sort of uh, audience is this film going to appeal to, Leslie? Uh, I think the lock, stock, and smoking barrels, the um, uh, the Ray Winston type, the Sweeney type stuff. Um, yeah, I, it, it, it's actually written a nice piece which tells it how it is. I mean, I was rehearsing. Uh, Dad's Army on tour. We were we were rehearsing in Camberwell, and I couldn't believe that the schools had armed you know armed sentries outside, and the police turned up in the morning and at night. So I think he's actually written about the underbelly of this country. And also, uh, you've been working with Billy Murray on this film as well. Um, how was that? Billy was fine. I only did two so many in two scenes in the play. Billy's a, you know he does does what it says on the tin with Billy. You know he's a nice guy. He's uh, he's. He's light on his feet, and he's done very. I think he's, you know, he's a very talented guy. You know, sadly he was in the what was that show, The Bill? The Bill. I think so. Yeah, The Bill. Yeah, yeah. No, Billy's worth. Uh, Billy's a, a nice guy, and he's, he works hard. And uh, hopefully this will be a nice um, little earner for him. And uh, what could Leslie Grant from fans expect to see you in next after this? Um, hopefully, if the producer and the director and that gets his finger out, I'll be doing some. A lot of Hollywood blockbusters, Bollywood blockbusters, and he's just shaking his head, so obviously I'll, I'll be down the Dole office. Okay, thanks very much. It's been lovely talking to you. I'm going away now. Thank you. Uh, fire, thank, fire escape. Thank I'll you very much. Thank thank you. You. I've been kicked out. I've been, I can't even go and see the film, I mean. I won't go out in the rain. <laughs> You're not invited to watch it. it. Oh no, I don't ever watch myself. I'm going to be in. Can it's I good. Get she's not in it. We cut it's you out. So long as you're here for the speech. Yeah, I'm only here for the speech. This is the producer, director, right, who I've just bigged up and said he's a talent. Thank, yeah. thank you very much, Leslie. Thank you, mate.